Welcome to Granny's Legacy. I'm excited about today's tutorial. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate um, a beaded edging that you can do around the edge of your wool projects um, that is secure and just beautiful and tight. Uh, so let's dig in. So right here I have our project called Tilly. And it's just a cute little 8 inch mat. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is thread my needle. And I am using a size 7 embroidery needle. Um, we like this needle here at Granny's Legacy because it works very well with pearl cottons. Um, it's a little bit thinner and it has a little bit narrower eye uh, that it's still easy to thread. But the needle itself then just glides in and out of wool. Also with it being relatively thin, you can do um, most of your beading with it as well. So I'm using black because that's the color of the edge of my mat. I'm just going to thread it. Oh, I split it. There we go. So I'm going to thread my needle. And I don't want to work with too much thread. Um, that's probably about 18 inches. Then I'm going to make a knot. And you can see that I've already started here, um, so you can see what it's going to look like. And normally when we stitch, we stitch left to right. However, with beading, um, I find it more comfortable to actually go opposite and work counterclockwise uh, right to left. Um, so I'm going to pick up right here. Uh, so it's just like I've already, I should back up a little bit. I've already completed a blanket stitch all the way around the edge of my mat. So this is a two-step thing. Uh, so first you complete your blanket stitching all the way around the edge of your mat, and then we add the bead. Um, so I'm going to go to the, the back of my project, and just like uh, with the blanket stitching, I'm going to slide in here between the layers um, and come up where I left off. Um, and as you can see, my needle went between the layers, so you don't see my thread on the front or the back. And I'm not going to worry about my knot showing, because as with the blanket stitching, I'll trim that off later. Um, and then, I, am I holding it in a position where you can see, I'm just going to do, just to get started, I'm going to do a little um, knot here. So I'm just going to make, do a little stitch, go through my loop, and just, just kind of secure it like that. Um, next, I'm going to open my beads here. I'm actually going to dump just a couple of them out to make it easier when I'm filming on camera here. And I'm going to put one bead on my needle. Um, and these beautiful black beads, they do vary. Some of them are thinner and some of them are thicker. I don't pay any attention to that. I just put on the one that goes on my needle. And um, so I threaded my needle. Now the next thing I do, I'm going to take a little bite where I want uh, this bead to go. So I'm not necessarily putting one on each of my blanket stitching or every other one. I'm actually just picking um, a dimension. So I'm doing like every three eighths of an inch. Um, so my bead is on. I just took a little bite where I want that to be. And then I'm going to take my thread that's down here by my last bead and I'm going to wrap it around my needle counterclockwise. So I'll do that again. So I'm going over and under in a counterclockwise manner. And then we're just going to draw that up. Oh, what did I do? It wrapped around. There you go. Draw it up and tighten it there. And that bead has a little knot on it. And that is secure and tight. And um, it just it's just a very nice way to attach a bead. So I'll just do another one here. Um, so I always think thread, bite, wrap. So that's my, all right, excuse me, bead, bead, bite, wrap, bead, bite, wrap. So I'm going to put my bead on. I'm going to take a little bite. And once again, I'm going about every three eighths of an inch and then wrap and then draw it up and this time I caught that other bead there we go so if the bead and the bead is on the thread right yep can you kind of show okay there we go all right so bead and I'm going to take a little bite there we go and I'm going to take the thread down here. And the thread is underneath of your needle, right? It's on underneath the project. That's yep. Okay. And then wrap around counterclockwise. So over and then under. And then tighten.
I'll just not talk and do a couple of them so you can just see the process. Feed, bite, wrap. That one split away. So I think the only one. thing that's going to catch someone up is it, the wrap. So string your bead, take a tiny little stitch, and then when you wrap, it goes away from the last bead, over the needle, and around. I'll demo that again. So it's away and under the needle. That's your wrap. Oh, no, I caught. I caught them. There you go. And it makes such a gorgeous edge. So a little tiny stitch into the fabric. Over and under. We'll do that wrap again. And then I will show you how to end. Um, if I were need to re-thread or if I were back to the beginning, um, I simply do what I did when I started. I just take a little nibble right by my last stitch and then go through that little loop and do a little locking stitch like that. And then turn it over. And then fish between the layers about half to an inch like that. And then snip. And then when I'm all done, I'll go to my ironing board, um, put this face down, and then just take the no uh, steam it real good, and then take the nose of my iron or the point, and just iron these areas where I I knotted uh, really well. And then uh, when it's cool, I'll just snip my ends off. And the fusible that we've used to hold the back on will lock in those ends. So there you have it, a beautiful locking beaded edge. Thank you for joining us and happy beading.